This has helped keep supply abundant and prices low for consumers. David Leeser, the chairman and former CEO of Halliburton, HAL, laments that the oil sector hasn't been recognized the same way as tech industry titans like Amazon, AMZN, Facebook, FB, and Tesla, TSLA. Independent oil companies are your classic American entrepreneurs, and their success should recognized, said Leeser on the oil field producer's second quarter conference call Monday. In Silicon Valley, such a success would be greatly celebrated as another industry disruptor. The unconventional disruption is not widely celebrated beyond the energy space. But it should be. The development of U.S. unconventional resources has been as disruptive to the global energy market as Amazon has been to big box retailing or Uber to the taxi business. Interior Secretary Ryan Zinka said in May that fracking is a global game changer to allow the U.S. to be not just independent but energy dominant. Indeed, the unconventional energy revolution and developments in horizontal drilling has increased the likelihood of U.S. energy independence. Hydraulic fracturing, which fractures rocks below the Earth's surface by injecting chemicals and liquids at high pressure, has allowed companies to access oil and natural gas formations previously untouched. Modern-day fracking enabled a production boom that started in 1998 with real results coming a decade later. Areas like the Bakken Formation in North Dakota or the Utica Shale in Ohio became growth areas for companies. For the time being at least, it seems Amazon will be more celebrated by Americans. But, especially with the support of President Trump's administration, we will see if Leaser gets his wish down the road. Nicole Sinclair is market's correspondent for News Pulse Finance Please also see. Short sellers have lost $7.1 billion betting against this year's hottest tech stocks. America doesn't need to be the world leader to prosper. Bank of America CEO why it matters that 21% of our deposits are made through mobile. Low oil prices are hurting Pepsi's business.